Here are some super useful keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time, and I think you should know about them. Okay, the first one I'm gonna show you is this. If you're typing anywhere, you can go ahead and press Windows V, and it'll bring up this little menu here. Right here is gonna be your clipboard history of something you've recently copied and wanted to paste. But also along the top here, you'll have a little emoji section where you can go ahead and click whatever you want to have typed. And if you go back, you'll notice you also have a GIF section where you could insert some GIFs. There's also a special character section where there'll be some stuff you usually don't find on your keyboard. But overall, that's a pretty cool one just for the uh, clipboard history and the emoji options. So another one you could use while you're typing something is Windows H. It'll bring up this little menu here. So if I go ahead and click this microphone here, it'll start typing whatever I say. And then I could click it again to make it stop. And as you can see, it was pretty accurate. If there's ever a time where you want to record your screen for something, you can press Windows Alt R. And in the corner, you'll notice the little record menu showed up. There's a stop button you can click as well as a microphone button to be able to talk over your recordings. When you're done, after pressing the stop button, if you press Windows G, it'll bring up this screen and you'll be able to see your recordings here. You can also click the folder icon to open up uh, where the files are stored. If there's ever a time you wanna take a custom screenshot of something like this duck here, you can press Windows Shift S. Some options will appear up here. You could use a rectangle. You could draw out the screenshot you wanna make. You could take a screenshot of just the window you're on, or you could take a full screen screenshot. So I'm gonna use this custom drawing one, and then I can just click with my mouse and start drawing. Once you take the screenshot, it'll appear in the bottom right section, and uh, from there you'll be able to click on it and save it. Or it's also on your clipboard, which means you can just go straight into an email, for example, and then just hit paste, and your screenshot will show up. Okay, this next one is really cool. If you press Windows Control Q, this window will appear called Quick Assist. This top section, if you enter in a code that's given to you, you can have somebody else look at your computer and help you with things. If you wanna help somebody else, you go down here and click Help Someone. And once you do that, you'll get your own code that you could then give to somebody else to be able to access their computer. So this is mainly gonna be for like friends and family, uh, maybe something to do with your work. So once again, that's Windows Control Q for that. This next one is if you press Windows and then any number between one and nine, it'll open up that corresponding app on your taskbar down here. So number one will open my folder. So there we go, I press Windows one. If I wanna open up Google Chrome, I press Windows three and so on. So a lot of you are probably familiar with using Alt tab to switch which program you're using, but Windows tab is actually a better version of that. So when you press Windows tab, all of your windows will appear and you'll be able to just click and select which one you wanna open. If you ever have something open and you wish to go full screen with it, you can press F11 and then press F11 again to exit out of full screen. Another quick one is if you press Windows D, it'll minimize everything on your computer and go straight to your desktop. You press Windows D again to bring everything back up. If you wanna close out of something instead of just minimizing, you can press Alt F4 and it'll instantly close the app for you. Another quick and super useful one is if you press Control Shift Escape, it'll instantly open up the task manager and that's just a way quicker way of getting there. If you press Windows X, you'll see this list here of some pretty useful Windows related features and that can definitely come in handy. Pressing Windows and I will instantly open up your computer settings. If you ever find that something's way too small to read on your screen like this here, you can press Windows and plus That'll bring up the magnification tool. You can just keep pressing Windows Plus to uh, zoom in to your preference. So let's zoom into this message here. And if you wanna zoom out, you just press Windows minus so you're back at 100%. And then you can go ahead and close this out. Now there's actually another shortcut that helps you find more shortcuts. So depending where you are, if you press Shift F10, so I'm gonna click on this folder on my desktop. If I press Shift F10, it'll bring up a menu and it'll show me all the different keyboard shortcuts for that particular thing. But if let's say I open up Google Chrome and I'm typing something in the Google here, I press Shift F10 once again, and then it'll show me the keyboard shortcuts for that while I'm typing. If I click away from that and press Shift F10 here, it'll tell me the keyboard shortcuts for the window itself. And basically anything you're doing, if you think there's a keyboard shortcut 
press shift F10, and it might show some options for you. So that's the last one for this list. Thank you guys for watching.